When we want to think about the soundtrack, the first thing we need to do is we need to think about the fact that there are three separate components to the soundtrack. We have dialogue, we have music, and we have sound effects. And sound mixing refers to the relationship between these tracks. And the difference between sound editing and sound mixing, sound editing is about the choice of the sounds that are going to be on each component track, whereas sound mixing refers to the fact to the relationships between those tracks. Um, so it's about the orchestration of what you can hear, when you can hear it, and how you can hear it. We design sound um, to privilege dialogue when we have speaking parts, right? Because we want uh, to make dialogue intelligible, especially if it's communicating something that we need to know about the plot. Um, we usually design sound in a particular way to uh, create a certain kind of point of audition. So we'll add sound perspective. Something will sound really far away, and then we'll be positioned with a particular character, let's say. The example that I always go back to, and the example that I always use, because I think it's very telling, is King Kong from 1933. The film is particularly well known because it's kind of the birth of the modern score. A Max Steiner's score is really, really well known. And I like to use it, and I like to teach it, and I like to watch it because I am seeing, in a sense, sound mixing practices becoming codified. In the 1930s and the transition to sound, this was still being kind of learned, partly because people were experimenting with sound, this was a new thing, and partly because the technologies to mix sound was only then becoming technologically feasible. And the scene especially that I always think of is the scene when Fay Ray, Armstrong, the crew are in one shot, the natives dancing is in the other shot. And uh, whenever Fay Ray and whenever Armstrong, whenever the crew is talking about what they're seeing, you can hear clearly what they're saying. And you can kind of hear lower on the soundtrack Max Steiner's score as well as the music. Boy, if I could only get a picture before they see us. Hey, you with the camera. Come here. Whenever they cut to the natives, all of a sudden the music blares. The dialogue is relatively inaudible, and the natives are basically just kind of Have you murmuring. Seen anything like that before in your life? Years later, it was discovered that the natives or the indigenous people were actually speaking a language. And it was completely unintelligible because the sound was mixed in such a way as to conceal what they were saying and to privilege the score. And so when you start paying attention to the relationships between sound components and how sound can be used to privilege or take focus away from certain kinds of sounds, you can start thinking about the sound and how power, in a sense, is being designed or mixed, uh, power relations, rather, are being designed or mixed in the soundtrack.